Okay guys, so obviously nothing has still hatched and although a lot of eggs will just normally hatch on their own, I have read that a lot of the time you have to remove them from the water, dry them out completely, then reintroduce them so they'll hatch. So today I've got a pipette, I've got some kitchen roll and I'm going to attempt to get some eggs out, put them on here and leave them out to dry. Okay, so now I've done that, I can see some really, really tiny eggs, but before I can properly observe them, I need to dry them out. So what I'm doing is putting them on a heat mat. Now this is only going to probably be for like half an hour or something, just so we can get rid of this initial uh, dampness in general. And then we'll have a closer look with my macro lens to see how many eggs are there. Now, what I think are eggs are like these little things, which really, like when you see the eggs in pictures and stuff, you don't really realise how small they are, but if you think of the end of a pipette, and they're tinier than that. So if, that, if they are eggs, what I'm looking at, there are hundreds. And this is just in the small patch in the middle, this actually ranges a lot longer each way so I'm gonna have a look at that now yeah even around like here the tiny little specks let's just move it up here so I don't think it traveled as far as to the edge but there you go some more up there they spread out quite a bit actually yeah there they are in the middle I can't see any round here. Luckily most of it's in the middle so at least we know a focus point where to make sure that's all protected. So I'm going to let these dry out and then we're going to reintroduce them maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. Okay, so the eggs dried out and I looked at them underneath a microscope and as you can see they're almost all a brown colour and some of them are quite round, some are slightly uh, dented in or slightly odder shape but they're definitely eggs and they are so tiny that if you compare them to this needle that's how small they are, it's crazy. Now I've got a bit of a problem because they have dried out but they sort of are dried out onto the paper and it's very hard to move them without squishing them because they're so small. So what I might do is cut up this bit of tissue around the area where most of the eggs are and dip it back in the water. I don't know what that's going to do, whether they will drop off from the paper or it have to stay in there. But I'm just going to do that right now and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I tipped a few in. Now I'm going to put in the paper and I'm actually kind of worried. I'm sure loads of people are going to tell me I've done something wrong here. But I can't really figure out another way of doing this. So... Stick that, <laughs> dear me. I'm gonna stick that on there. So yeah, stay tuned for the next episode when we find out if this actually worked.